We're still two months away from the NFL draft in late April. However, the drama surrounding the decision the Chicago Bears are going to have to make with the number one overall pick has already reached a frenzy because reportedly Justin Fields has just unfollowed the Bears on social media, following a lot of speculation about what they're going to do with that number one pick, whether they're going to trade away Justin Fields, whether they're going to draft Caleb Williams. And again, as a Chicago Bears fan who has been begging them to get rid of Justin Fields for the past two years, I thought they should have taken a quarterback with the number one overall pick last year. They didn't do it. Look at a team. Now, you can have one of two teams. You could be the Panthers uh, in a horrific year with Bryce Young, or you can look at C.J. Stroud and what the Texans were able to do immediately and turn around that franchise. The Bears somehow have that same exact decision this year. What to do with that number one overall pick? And apparently, with all these things flying around, Justin Fields is not very happy. The drama is real. Justin Fields unfollows Chicago Bears on Instagram amid mass NFL draft speculation. Reports are circulating the Bears have options at the quarterback position. Wayne, which is the better one between keeping Fields as their starter or taking a quarterback in the 2024 NFL draft with the number one overall pick? And right now, current projections have USC's Caleb Williams being that guy. What does Justin know that we don't? What's even more interesting about the timing is uh, Fields had a career high at the 2023 season. Oh, wow. Passing yards, a career high of 2,500. Oh, my God. And he threw for 60% completion percentage. Holy shit. Somebody fucking signed this guy to a $50 million a year deal. Jesus. The, the fact that we're bragging about that is wild. It really, to me, as a Chicago Bears fan who has seen the limitations of Justin Fields, who have seen them put in Tyler Bajan at times, and he looked effective running this offense, to me... The question is right now, with Justin Fields coming into his fourth year, got to make the decision whether they want to take that fifth-year extension or not. Like, your decision right now is whether you want to pay Justin Fields $40-plus million a year. That's really the decision the Bears have to make right now during this draft. Are you willing to commit to him long-term? Because if not, what, are you just going to let him walk after the end of five years and start over again? Are you willing to pay Justin Fields long-term? That's the decision you kind of have to make right now because... The Bears have not had a number one draft pick, I, I think, since the 40s or something like that before last year. Well, now you have it again. It's not coming around again anytime soon, all right? Number one draft pick. Caleb Williams, I have my problems with Caleb Williams. I have my doubts about Caleb Williams, but when you look at what people are projecting him to be, the type of prospect he is, the type of talent he has, like that doesn't come around all that often. But it seems like Justin Fields is already willing to express how frustrated he is with the situation. As we've heard, there's trade rumors that the Bears received a bunch of inquiries at the Senior Bowl that a lot of teams are reaching out to them, whether it be rumors about the Steelers or the Falcons, etc. A lot of people might be interested in trading the Bears for Justin Fields if they are willing to take Caleb Williams with that number one overall pick. What do you guys think? What do you think the Bears should do? Again, I'm very invested as a Bears fan and as someone who has been against Justin Fields uh, for the past couple of years and saying they need to move off him, saying he can't be the guy there. But what do you guys think? Let me know what should the Bears do? Should Justin, is, is was Justin Fields right to unfollow the Bears on Instagram to show how upset he is? What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.